Good morning, everybody. Today, I'll be guiding you how to complete the resistor lab. So in this lab, you have to answer this following questions. This is the pre-lab questions. Once you answer those questions, then you go to the next one, which is the Ohm's law experiment, and you have to complete this, this experiment using this simulation. So the first question is, how do you access this simulation? So click this, uh, just copy and paste this link. So I'm just copying the link. And then I recommend you to use the um, Google Chrome. If you paste it here, then the simulation opens up. And go to the lab. Okay, open the lab, and the in the lab, I'll directly take you to the. You can answer these questions. This is most likely like in a homework, the questions, and it is a pretty straightforward the questions. So I'm not going to answer all those questions. So what happens? Like these questions ask you if you have this following resistance connected in series and parallel combination. What is the effective resistance? How much is current is flowing through? one of the resistance so it is pretty straightforward to calculate so you can go anytime and answer these questions and answering these questions does not require the the simulation uh, you need the simulation for this this part of the experiment and you see here like you have one resistance a battery and a switch here and and an emitter and the voltmeter connected so let's connect this circuit here okay so first I need so first of what I will do I will go to so you see here like how, how should I connect this one and uh, I, I need so first thing you have to do is go to one resistance and I, I will click this one this one will take you into the this kind of uh, this resistor. If you click here, it will just looks like a real image, and this one just looks like an schematic representation of the, all the electronic devices. So let's take a resistor here, and make sure that uh, you go to the conventional one. Okay, and just read the values here. In the simulation, it says 1800 ohm. So if you double click this one, then you can change the value here. I'll just adjust it to the 1800 so I get 1800 and then now just take the wire and connect the wires take the wire on the other side and connect them and you need a battery then you need a switch here this is a switch so, and the switch you can get it as a, it should be here that's here so I will connect the switch now and then you just connect it through a wire then what you need is a battery so just take take this battery okay or I'll just get the battery from here all right and you see the battery is saying is starting from the 15 volt so I'll double click this one and then take it to the 15 volt 15 volt okay and then uh, and I need one more wire okay the circuit is completed now and you see there is no current right now there is no current because this is open circuit right now so there is no any current okay so this part is completed what is asking here you have to fill out this table here uh, starting from the voltage and then you measure the current and you just fill out this table here just the 15 volt 20 volt and measure the current here all right so I'm already on the 15 volt but how do I measure the the current so just take this this device and plug in anywhere here that will give you the current value now what I will do I'll just uh, switch on now so this is switched off I'll switch on now and I see the current here the value is 0 0.008 ampere for the 15 volt 
so this is for the 15 volt so I'll just plug in 0 0.008 okay and the next thing is now 20 volt double click here and then make it 20 volt now 20 volt in 20 volt what was the value you get is uh, 0 0.011 keep going this way and just fill out all this table I'll just make out one more number uh, I'll just take one more measurement let's say 65 volt or 70 volt 70 volt and 70 volt what's the value I'm getting 0 0.04 So 0.04 so you have to fill out all this number now okay once you have all this number then you plot the graph okay so you just plot a graph of the voltage and the current that's what it is asking the next step is how do you find out the slope so you have to find out the the slope from the equation from the graph and the, from the slope you can calculate the the velocity uh, the the resistance of the resistor and then here you have to calculate the percentage error and you know the for, um, formula for the percentage error but if you do not know just google this one in the projectile lab uh, uh, we already have calculated the percentage error so the percentage error is simply uh, what is your the major value major value minus calculated value and this one is divided by this together together divided by major value major value and then uh, here you also have to have 100 percent that gives you the percentage error measured value minus calculated value times 100 percent divided by the major value that gives you the percentage error this is for the percentage error all right so once you connect the uh, and then uh, once you're done with this one then you have to connect the circuit in this configuration okay we have three resistors connected in series so what I'm going to do now, I will just take one series, put them here, one resistor, another resistor, and the only thing I need to change is, is the value. This one is 100 ohm. This is 10 ohm. So go, go and slide this one to 100 ohm. One and ohm. And the next one, is 50 ohm oh this is uh, 500 ohm so double click this one and get it to 500 500 and this is 50 ohm so you just slide, change this one to 50 ohm 50 ohm okay and then you have to connect using the wires so connect this everything using the wires okay so I connected using the wires uh, I'll for now I'll just turn off the switch okay so the, you see now this one exactly and this one is saying 120 volt okay so I'll just change this one to 120 volt okay then what is asking here what is the total resistance so you have to calculate this one okay you just calculate these are connected in the parallel combination so you can calculate the total resistance the next is and I'm not going to do this part because this is in the calculation part you have to calculate it using the the formula or use the lecture notes just to calculate all those value uh, here I'll just tell you how to get the major value okay what is the current through 100 ohm so we need to find out the current here in order to do, do that first close the circuit 
and take this ammeter and put here and right here what this value is 1.20 amp so the answer for this one is 1.20 always write down your units that's the 100 ohm and now let's say what is asking here what is the voltage across 50 ohm I'm just filling out this table if, if you have to calculate the voltage across the 50 ohm you just take this voltmeter and where is the 50 ohm right here so you just connect this one right here what do you get 120 volt and it makes sense because all are connected in the parallel so come here and write down the answer as 120 volt and that's where you have to fill out this table okay and I'm also going to uh, upload one more video which shows how do you plot a graph in Excel and how do you find out the the slope from the graph all right if you have any questions let me know I think that's it for today um, and again any questions do not hesitate to ask me all right thank you bye bye